Sukse Mastra is a Chadian member of the opposition. He's also the president of the Transformers political party. He's joining us from uh, Chad's capital. Thanks for your time with us on Al Jazeera. Welcome to the program. Uh, just tell us what Thank your you. thoughts are on the situation in Chad right now and where you think this could be heading. Oh, yes. Uh, our country has been now subjected to a dynasty kind of military coup that confiscated the power. And uh, we, the people of Chad, we are marching because we don't want this kind of dynastic transmission of power from father to son and without the willing of the, the people. And uh, last week and this week, we are organizing peaceful protests. Unfortunately, uh, more than 700 uh, uh, people were arrested and uh, more than 10 people killed. And even today, um, by the time I'm speaking to you, our headquarters are blocked by a part of the army, and uh, my passport is confiscated, and, uh, you know, they are, you know, uh, 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 shooting people. So it, it means that we are not moving in the right direction, and this is what the people of Chad don't want. Okay, well, when it comes to the protest, the military is saying that without a permit, then, then the people will likely disturb public order. And that is why they have put a ban on protests, yet the opposition is going out in defiance of this ban. Uh, this, is, this is curious, because you see those 15 people, 15 generals, they came in power without the permission of the people. They came in power avoiding what is supposed to be done throughout our constitution. This is not what is supposed to, 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 to happen. They came in power we organizing a coup d'etat, which means that they are not even respecting the status of the African Union and the rules of the African Union. And they are asking the people who are saying, you guys, let's make sure we go back to the Constitution, we go back to what is normal, meaning we need a civil to organize this transition. And they are requesting from the people to ask them a permission to organize peaceful protests. This, this is really very curious. But the military so is also saying that want... they are going to organize elections within 18 months. Do you not trust that these elections will be held within that time we frame? We don't trust... We don't trust them. When you look at this chart, the chart today is giving, this is a, like a, a chart for a king. It's not a chart for a, a democracy. Because we don't, we, only the, the leader of this uh, military council is supposed to appoint people from the parliament, people from the judiciary uh, uh, power, f people from the executive power, which means that we are no longer in democracy. When, so if you look at this chart, then you understand that we are not moving on the, on the right direction. But and the now opposition... the, situation, the situation in Chad... Right, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, the situation in Chad is not worse than the situation in Mali, for example. And what we, the people of Chad, are requesting is first to have a civil president. And since the question of security is very important, we can appoint a vice president in charge of the security. So the people from the CMT, which is the military kind of uh, council, they can go to the, this vice presidency and organize the security of the, of the country. And then we go and we organize a dialogue, an inclusive dialogue. And from that dialogue, we put in place the institutions requested for the... For the but for are the, you for, as... For, for are, our are the opposition parties in the forward. country... Are, are, are you as opposition in the countries united in your demands and, and what you want going forward? Not only the opposition. We are now organizing all this for almost 12, 12 weeks. Opposition, opposition is, is united. You have even uh, 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 leaders, of, uh, religious leaders are with us. Uh, people, lawyers are with us. People from the diaspora are with, with us. So it means that in the coming days... But, but allow me, allow me, allow me to, to just to contest that for a second. Your, your, your colleague, opposition leader Saleh Kebzabu, has welcomed the appointment of the prime minister that the military council has put in place. And he said, we wish him a lot of success. So it doesn't sound like the opposition is united. This is a, a, a small part of the opposition, but the majority, the vast majority of the opposition, which really represent the, the voice of the people, that we are, we are organized and we are, we are even united. In the coming days, we will come up with something that will clearly show that we don't recognize this uh, military kind of group of 15 people, and we will, we will put in place something different from that to make sure that the Constitution is back, that what to make sure that, that, that you're we going go to and put organize forward? an inclusive dialogue. What will you put forward? Sorry? What will you be putting forward? 
And this is, in the coming days, we will put that in, uh, you know, uh, we will make it uh, uh, known by the people of Chad and even by the partners of Chad. This is going to, to show that clearly this is what the population of Chad want and every uh, country which is part, uh, a partner of our country is, is supposed now to help us uh, throw this new organization that we are going to put in place in the name of the people of Chad. So we are finalizing this, and in the coming uh, uh, hours and days, this is going to be very public, so everybody will know. Okay, thank you so much. Sukse Masra for speaking to us from Chant.